Hey there, welcome back to Fish Tank. I'm your host, Lynette Bochco, and this is my show, Fish Tank, where we relax, watch some fish, and talk about how shit everything's gotten lately. In actuality, things weren't that bad lately. I got a new medication recently, and it seemed to help with my anxiety so far, which is a rather nice change of pace if I'm being honest. Being anxious all the time is pretty crap, really. So I've been taking that, and that's been allowing me to deal with my mother a lot better, though I'd still prefer to not have to deal with her whatsoever, but hey, baby steps, right? Last week, I went to a knitting store with her so I could buy some more balls of yarn to work with. I figured this would be an easy way to spend time with her without really spending time with her, you know? So we get there and immediately she starts berating the hobby, loudly, in the store. I wanted to grab a pair of needles and just jam them into her neck. But thankfully, I have somewhat better self-control than that. Still, not only was she putting me down, which was embarrassing enough, but she was also insulting the people who ran the place. And that sucked. It is not my intention to go somewhere and have the hardworking people, people who are likely not even making enough to survive on, get treated like just absolute dog doo-doo because it's a hobby she finds not all the worthwhile. You know what other hobby she didn't find worthwhile? Being a mom. But I can't say that to her face because that would only enrage her more. So I apologize in secret and I mutter in my head about all the various ways that I wish she would just fucking die. We had lunch at a small deli nearby, and that was rather uneventful. I had a Monte Cristo sandwich. Good shit. I didn't tell her about the medication, because that would only be another axe for her to grind, God knows. I mean, to be fair, she's always said I need to be on medication, but I don't want her thinking that she deserves any of the applause for me actually taking control of my life and trying to fix all the shit that she fucked up in the first place, you know? I decided to get on medication. Me. Not her. That wasn't a helpful solution coming from a place of loving concern when she said it. It was meant as a fucking insult, okay? Know the difference. So frankly, she doesn't need to know that. I'm trying very hard to stay positive, especially with the way things are in the world right now. I'm just trying to cope with my own life. I can barely handle that. So don't think for a second that I can even begin to try and manage what's going on out there, alright? Because I can't. I'm thankful for my new medication. I really am. Lying in bed, staring at the ceiling and crying for hours while you go through every single bad memory you have like you're viewing it on a fucking microfiche machine. It's awful. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. At least for now, with this current medication, I can, for the most part, manage to block out a lot of my bad feelings, and that leaves me the chance to work on other things that are wrong with me, which are a lot, I assure you. I'm like an onion of problems. You keep peeling, you find more layers to my issues, and guess what? You cry at every single one of them. So yay for new medication, and boo for shitty moms. I'm still looking for a new job, but who knows how much longer that will go on for. I have a few leads, but nothing really substantial, sad to say. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got to say for right now. I'm going to keep taking medication and keep hoping my mom drops dead. It's important to have things to look forward to, okay? Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Until then, I'm Lynette Bochco. And god damn do I love Monte Cristo sandwiches and fish.